Morning guys and girls. On today's episode, we are going to TIG weld some stars. And I know that sounds a bit ridiculous, but you'll have to bear with me on this little experiment. What I got here is a piece of 304 stainless steel. It's pretty crusty. It's plasma cut. I'm going to buff the surface off to where it's clean enough to weld on transfer some stars over and then weld them. So let's get into it. One thing before we start I want to mention is that stainless steel like this, you really don't want to be grinding it or technically welding it either without really wearing a respirator. Uh, the hexavalent chromium that's exposure that comes out of this causes lung cancer. So before I go and grind this, I'm going to go put a respirator on to protect my lungs, as, as should you. Not to mention all the dust that's going to be on here. I'm going to clean it up with a uh, little dustpan and stuff and get rid of it. You, like I said, you don't want to be breathing it. Well, let's start. <laughs> So now I'm going to wipe it down with some acetone. See all that crap? Get that in your lungs, it's no good. Be smart about it. So we got our piece right here. It's clean enough to actually weld on it. Sharp edges are mainly broke off the side so you, I won't cut myself by accident. The surface finish, if I was gonna make art out of this, would be a lot better than what you see here, but it's more than clean enough to do what we're gonna be doing. So what I got, I went on Microsoft Paint of all things and basically just made a couple stars using very simple tools. And what we're going to do is transfer them to this plate. Now there's a number of ways that you can do this. Let's see here. That's a little big of one. I think we'll start with this little guy right here. So, like I said, there's a couple ways to do this. One of them, and I'll grab a razor blade here. I'm going to cut this star out. And I'm just going to transfer it directly to this using acetone. Now, I believe this only works if you're using um, a laser jet printer. I don't believe this will work with inkjet, but we're going to try it. So I'm just going to hold that right there, grab a rag with some acetone on it. And would you look at that, transferred right over. Like I said, I think that only works with laser jet printers. I've had varying degrees of success with that. Otherwise, what you can do is you can just put this right on there and then use an, a scribe or an etch or whatever it is that you want to transfer it and then transfer it directly through the paper. But as you can see, that kind of makes it uh, a little easier. It's not quite that good here because, well, it moved on me, but you get the idea. 
All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I got a little Dremel tool here. It has a microscopically small ball end mill of sorts on there. And I'm just gonna etch this with this tool. There's also like Dremel and even Harbor Freight has a engraver that's basically like a metal pin that vibrates and then you can use that to scribe your lines. But since uh, when you're welding, you can't really see that well, so having a very distinct line on this will go a long way to help you. I have welded directly over, like, say, this or even Sharpie. That works, too, to somewhat, but I find this works the best. So let's engrave this out. Tell you what, doing that for three, four hours, like on some of the bigger works I've done, is gets to be pretty annoying. It's almost like you're a dentist or something. Although I'd rather be grinding on stainless steel than someone else's teeth, I guess. Shout out to all you dentists out there. Not that you're watching my channel anyways. All right, so we got that etched in. Let's clean all of that crap off of it best we can. And now we have a very simple star. That is our guide to TIG weld to. Now anytime that I'm gonna weld on something like this, especially like if it's an actual artwork piece that I can't afford to make mistakes, I'll take a little test plate like this, run a couple beads on it just to make sure that everything's all right. Because the last thing you want to do is start welding on something like this and then find out that you forgot to turn your argon on and then the piece is junk from the beginning. I got, uh, I believe it's 0.045 filler, 308 stainless, that's what we're going to be working with today. I generally like to use 035 stainless more. One sixteenth and bigger filler is really too big to start artwork with. I will use it depending on what I'm doing, but most of my art is pretty precise small beads, so the smaller the filler rod, the better. Let's run some test welds here and see how well everything is working. There we have it, got these two little guys right there, not looking too bad. Everything's looking good. All right, overall our first project together. Little star there, pretty good. Pretty happy with how that turned out. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the arc and kind of melt this on the inside. And let's see uh, if I can add a little bit more character to this. Thank you. 
take a look at that. A little bit cooler. I kind of screwed up, put my stops in a, I guess, a non-ideal place, but I'll do a little something on that to try and clean it up, but pretty cool. done up a lot of ways I could have done to fill it in I could have actually used filler but I just thought I'd do something a little different kind of cool it's gonna go in a scrap bin anyways so if I can do it you can do it go out and build something thanks <laughs> 